it's hard to know what obstacles are gonna be in front of you when you've never been a entrepreneur or a businessman before. Uh, it's one thing to build a program like I've built before where you have other folks behind that green curtain, if you will, uh, doing all of the extra pieces that you don't see that you don't know about. Once you're able to get behind that green curtain, see the mess of the rigor maru of what really goes into uh, managing and owning and running a business, it, it becomes a totally different story. Joined the Marine Corps back in 99. Uh, my first duty station was Marine Barracks 8th and I in Washington, D.C., so it was expensive wallpaper. And from there, when 9-11 happened, I asked for a, uh, an FMF unit, was sent to uh, 2nd Battalion, 4th Marines, where I was in amphibious raid. Uh, from there, uh, deployed overseas, did a TDY. Got out after five years hit the civilian world for a minute, tried a bunch of different things, went back into the military, joined the guard, uh, joined the scout section, and after a total of 10 years chewing dirt, decided to see what else that the military had for me, and saw that they had just increased the age uh, graduation rate to uh, 33 for aviation, decided to throw my packet in for a warrant officer, and uh, became a CH-47 pilot, and I finished up my last 10 years as a CH-47 pilot. With the military, you're so used to uh, what's the plan before the plan, and then what's the pivots that we're looking for you know, down the road. Uh, same thing with the business plan. So it was able to make those transitional skills a little easier for me to become an entrepreneur, especially once I found the Warrior Rising program. As I evolved and my learning processes evolved, and as I learned more about uh, different types of companies in different fields and industries. Um, that's when I found as I was getting out of the military, the wind industry, and that's when I really found my passion. So I was doing a search. I knew I wanted to start my own business. I knew what I wanted to do. It was just a matter of building that roadmap from A to B and getting guidance of those that had come before me, especially when I was able to find Warrior Rising, see that it was veterans putting together entrepreneurs and helping give that guidance to them. That really made me say, okay, let me take a look at this. And as I did more research, uh, I really fell in love with the idea and the philosophy, so I signed right up. I started out in the wind industry as a blade repair technician, and then uh, moved into torque and tensioning repairs. And from there, as I was growing with torque and tension, I grew up into uh, project manager. From there, I was able to instruct and build a program before building my own uh, for somebody else down in Tampa. And once I built that program and learned from the mistakes of, you know, this is how you put this together, uh, I knew how to do it myself, but I didn't know how to do the business side of it myself. That's when I started making out those outreach connections to Warrior Rising and those people that uh, I knew from the military as well that had their MBA and things of that nature that I was able to put them on my board and have those advisors and collaborate with them and collaborate with Warrior Rising to be able to get to where I am now. Having the guidance from both sides of the table, not just my advisors, but those at Warrior Rising uh, giving me those pieces of knowledge that I don't have because again I've only got two ears and two eyes I don't know everything and there's things I don't know and I don't know what I don't know and having those that have gone before me give me their knowledge and tutelage has been invaluable. If I was sitting down with a bunch of entrepreneurs and I knew nothing of Warrior Rising um, I would still let them know that Always lean on your brothers. I mean, we're entrepreneurs, we're veterans, so we're always brothers. Use their knowledge, use their failures. Same thing that we learn in the military. Learn from someone else's failure and their success. And that let that be your guide and path. Uh, when you think of it in a terms of you really old school pirates, right? You have a, a, a buccaneer and you have a pioneer, right? The pioneer is gonna beat this path down and really go against the grain sometimes. Uh, the best way is actually to be a buccaneer and go right behind that pioneer. Follow that path and then be able to exploit the pieces that that, uh, that, that pioneer didn't have the ability to exploit because now you have all of that brush broken down. You're able to have a better visibility of what's really in front of you and you can exploit those opportunities.